Good afternoon, Demarcus. What up, though? It's uh, I know San Francisco takes a uh, a lot of pride in playing uh, physical ball, just like you guys. I think they called uh, the last game a, a body bag game. Can you just talk about how much pride you guys take physically, and you expect this to be a pretty pretty physical matchup? Oh yeah, of course. Um, you know, just looking at uh, San Francisco, uh, them now in their past history, they always wanted to be a physical team up front, uh, lead with their offensive line, and we do the same thing. So uh, yes, it's going to be a physical match. Looking forward to it. Uh, just decided to be in the playoffs, um, and just ready to go, man. You talk about the, the mental challenge of, of a physical running game like they have and, and, and the physical style of like they talk about, you know, on offense, they want to run through the defense and, and they call it bullet ball. Is that, do you, do you, is that the same mindset you go in every game or do you as the defenders have to come into this game with a different mindset because of their style of play? I feel like you only can play bully ball when you own the situation. And owning the situation meaning you only can play bully ball when you're up 14-0. to zero. So uh, if it's a tight game, I don't, I don't think they can be able to play bully ball all game long. Demarcus, what's the challenge they pose with how versatile some of their players can be? And how much does Dan talk about his past experience with Shanahan when planning for this game? Can I tell you a secret? You okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter how versatile they are. Um, we have versatile players on our team too. It's all. It really all comes down to us doing our job to the best of our abilities, us owning the moment and us attacking. Simple as that. When you look at Garoppolo, what do you see as some of the ways you can exploit the pocket and try and use the defensive line this week? When I look at Jimmy. See, that's the thing. Like, I don't want to come into, you know, here and uh, just be talking to media about what we can do or what we about to do. I want to I want to really focus on our game plan, not worry about what they got, what the, what those guys have over there and really just come out on Sunday and attack and play our game. It doesn't matter who who lines up. We we have to go out there and dominate as a defensive unit and come out with a, a W point blank period. Marcus, how, how long or how quick is a week like this to get to game day? You say how long or how short is a week like this to get to game day? Yeah. Does it seem like Sunday is a mile away or does it seem like it's tomorrow? Like how, how quick does, it, does game day get here for you? And you wish wish you could play right away. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, the enthusiast – Enthusiasm is up, you know, in the locker room, but, you know, we sticking to our, you know, regular schedule. Uh, we taking it one game at a time, one day at a time. Uh, preparation is key, you know, to victory. So uh, we taking our time, making sure we prepare the right way and uh, understand our game plan so we can go out there and get the W. And Trent Williams, he's got an elbow deal. I'm not sure he's playing, but I, I assume, I believe he played against him before, but what what's the challenge that he pre uh, presents as a, uh, pass protector and run blocker. Todd, I think you're trying to ask me what's the challenge that we present, and I'm not going to give it to you uh, today. But you know, just make sure you tune in on Sunday, and we'll let you know. Demarcus, obviously you play with Romo and now with Dak. How much pressure are, are quarterbacks under for playing for the Cowboys, especially when you get in the postseason? I mean, I really don't know how much pressure quarterbacks be under uh, by playing for the Cowboys. I think, you know, all quarterbacks, you know, uh, in the playoffs are under uh, a lot of pressure, uh, you know, especially with, you know, good rush fronts coming in, uh, you know, good defenses overall. Um, you know, it can be uh, mind boggling, you know, for some people. But, uh, you know, I, I, I believe that is going to own the moment. You know, he's going to show y'all what he's really about. And, you know, we're going to take this playoffs by storm. How much do you cherish this moment right now, especially after missing several weeks with the foot and the team didn't make the playoffs the last couple of years? And you've been in the league for a little bit. How much are you cherishing these moments right now? Oh, man. And I'm just truly blessed. You know, uh, you know, the Lord sought me down earlier in the season and, you know, told me that wasn't my time. You know, and uh, being able to bring me back, uh, with the team that uh, made the playoffs, and now we can go on this playoff run and 
uh, potentially a Super Bowl. It means a lot to me, man. This is, you know, what a young kid always dream of. You know, making it to the NFL and you know playing in a Super Bowl or you know winning a Super Bowl. So um, I'm just I'm just excited to be here. Excited to you know go out here and play this game with my teammates and win. When there is that excitement, as a player who's going to prepare all week and be at your best on Sunday, do you try to tap into that excitement, or is it important not to do that too much and just focus, be true to your routine? How do you how do you navigate that? Yeah, I think you have to turn your excitement into uh, how I want to put it. Turn your excitement into mental excitement. Uh, being excited to learn more. Being excited to, you know, uh, learn the opposite player that you're going against. Learn, you know, uh, the team that you're going against, and also learn more about yourself and your team and how y'all can get better uh, through that through those moments and. You know, being quiet before the storm and waiting on Sunday and, and really unleashing the excitement. They seem like they um, attack the edge, edges of defense a little more aggressively or often than a lot of other teams. Setting the edge is a focus every week, but what do you see? Is that even more of a focal point and emphasis as you guys go through your preparation? Yeah, I see you've been doing your scouting report. So shout out to you, Mike. But uh yeah, man, just you know, just staying true to our game plan. Uh, you know, as defense ends, that's our job, point blank period. We must set the edge, uh, turn the ball back inside and, you know, make plays. So uh they like attacking the edge, but you know, we like setting edges. So we're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> how much credit should Dan get a D Law for what this defense has become? Oh man, you know, Dan deserves a lot of credit. Uh being able to come in here and get a bunch of uh a group of young guys and not just young guys, his draft class that he brought in too, uh to come in, follow his system, believe in his system and and also go out there and implement it on the field and show the world what, what it's really about. So being able to have Dan come in here, change the culture to make us uh think more about the ball, uh taking the ball away, giving the offense more opportunities to score. Uh, it put us in the position that we are in today, and you know we're just thankful to have Dan on our side.